six, and you suffer through the Lady Lilith Rose. Yes. But now, Lady Lilith, it is time for us, the people of Mount Hope, for payback. Applause, uh, hold it till the end because I'll get it. Number two, Eobar the Brown. Eobar the Brown says, You're like daylight savings. You take hours out of our lives. You're around when people want you the least. Your purpose has long been obsolete, and the vast population would rather be rid of you. <laughs> The night starts off great with a glass, but before you know it, you finish her off and you're puking behind a 7-Eleven. Oh. And Watson, Bethesda Balfour, and Ashfield Musgrave heard you were going to be here tonight, so they all faked their own deaths to get out of here. <laughs> not dead, just not here. Uh, okay. Brett of Folly Lady Lilith, I'm conflicted. On the one hand, they say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But on the other hand, they also say, if you see something, say something. Oh. <laughs> 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 Lady Lilith said, she wants you to know that she really respects you. In your shared industry, normally you have to be pretty to succeed. <laughs> with good cheer. When men want to do her, they head to the sewer, and she says we all float down here. Oh. <laughs> says, many people don't realize that Lady Lilith's iconic hips for days look comes from her need to cover up the fact that her knees are reenacting the Titanic <laughs> car scene under there. Oh. Rebels write a really nice song about you. It goes like this Secret Tunnel! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Philip McCormick would like you to know that here at the end of his season, uh, it's time to say goodbye. It's been a lovely, wonderful season. Uh, and there's a beautiful Celtic saying that's Mahamas, which means good riddance. Beauty <laughs> <laughs> uh, Balfour actually learn to read and write just to do uh, to be able to roast you yeah no. you're dumb <laughs> <laughs> I know you know that I'm telling the truth when I tell you that Crispin Bardo wrote a um, rhyming couplet. <laughs> <laughs> like the Helen of Troy, thy dazzling complexion has launched a thousand ships, but in the opposite direction. Oh.
time last year, you were possessed by the vengeful spirit of a bitter, evil, long-dead witch who kidnapped a young man before his wedding. Not much has changed. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Kwiatkowski says that he's noticed you're taking an interest in Polish cuisine. Now he wants to let you know that you're supposed to um, eat the boiled cabbage, not put it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Talented, beautiful, great at working the crowd. So, um, Lilith, if you know anyone like that, you can talk to her after. <laughs> <laughs> yes. hmm. Oh, tasty, wilted rose. The new fragrance brought you back to the name. Oh. <laughs> you have Willow the Word to thank for that one. <laughs> said, watching you work is as enjoyable as watching a public execution. A long build-up ending in an anticlimactic bloody mess that leaves me with lifelong trauma. <laughs> As for Chris Locke is our shy occult cartographer. She makes maps. She's offering her services to draw your map to a therapist's office or at least a mirror. Oh.
going to think of something to say to you, Lady Lilith, and then we realize we have much more pleasant things to do, like watching paint dry or listening to a cat vomit. <laughs> for warning everyone against the dangers of believing your parents when they say you can be anything you want. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 